Hey guys, Rochelle here with Amethyst Ascension, and I am bringing you your next uh, pick a pile or pick a card readings for, um, geez, and I did have this, for tomorrow, which was uh, January 12th, Sunday, through January 18th, next Saturday, okay? So uh, please remember that this is a general reading and to take what resonates with you and just leave the rest behind. We have three piles to choose from. This week we are using the Lightseer's Tarot and the um, Sacred Creator's Oracle. And this is pile one, two, and three. There will be timestamps down below for each of the three um, piles, okay? So let's just begin if you chose pile one. We are doing the same basic layout as before, which is what do I need to release this week? What do I need to embrace this week? Uh, how can I best support myself this week? And an, a message from the, the cosmos, okay? So, what do I need to release this week? Well, when the hangman comes up, it's about like self-sacrifice uh, for like the greater good or for your own spiritual uh, evolvement, okay? However, I see this as self-sabotage because you're supposed to release this. Um Holding on to something that isn't yours. Being stubborn. Uh, you know, not holding on to something that's not supposed to be your lesson to hold on to. Or um, really self-sabotage. Don't make yourself. It, n now is not the time to make yourself a martyr. Okay? What do we need to embrace this week? The lovers. So... This week, you know, the lovers is also about duality and soulmates, um, finding healthy boundaries. So I see this reading for this week for pile number one very much about a relationship. Um, maybe something that you're willing to maybe put aside how you're truly feeling in order to see how this uh relationship which i think we all we do all too often in the beginnings of relationships or even after we've been in relationships for a long time sometimes we just say heck with it i don't have the energy for this i'm just going to give in i'm going to let them have it their way because i don't want to deal with it but I'm seeing that this is what you need to embrace this week. You need to set those healthy boundaries. Um, you need to come together with that other person. Uh, this could be friendship, but I'm definitely seeing this as a lover or a, a husband or a wife, um, your significant other. Really just embrace this other person. Embrace yourself, though, more importantly. Um, and if, also, if you're reluctant to, you know, I'm also kind of seeing this as, and this is kind of weird that I would see this, but I almost see it like there's somebody that you have feelings for but you are putting yourself on the back burner because you think that a friend or a close friend is also, um, how do I say this, really likes this person. However, you do as well. And so you are willing to sacrifice yourself so that your friend... Um, or, 
or perhaps you're self-sacrificing yourself because you're already in a relationship and you don't want to hurt the other person, but there's somebody else that you're interested in. This just really tells me that you need to be true to yourself. Be true to yourself first and foremost. And the best way that you can support yourself in making these kind of choices is by hmm, knowing that whatever, whatever you put out, you get back. Meaning, um, you know, the wheel. There's going to be... Uh, there's going to be ups and downs. There's going to be ebb and flow. Hmm. See? I don't know. This could be something kar karmic, too. Soulmate and karma. Maybe this is about a soulmate and learning what you need to See, this could go so many different ways. But really, the way that I see it in these cards is more, it's hard when it's a general, because I could see several different um, options in this. But I think what I'm really, really picking up for this one is just to not self-sabotage yourself. You know, you deserve to be in the relationship that you want by setting healthy boundaries and... Um, you know, good communication with that other person, but actually give yourself the green light to be in this relationship. And, you know, what comes around goes around, but it's a lucky break. I mean, usually when you get the Wheel of Fortune, this is how you best support yourself also, this card, is just by, you know, allowing what's going to happen Sometimes it's fate, sometimes it's destiny, sometimes it's a lucky break, you know. That is, that's how the wheel, that's how the wheel rolls. But you're never going to know until you, you try, right? So that's what I see here. And, haha, <laughs> yep, your card is cozy up with risk. Wow. And it's a flame, but it almost looks like, and look at it, it's almost the same color red here. So take the risk on that relationship maybe that you're holding back on. Whatever the scenario is, it doesn't really matter, but it does boil down to some sort of uh, some sort of relationship. And I'm thinking it's a romantic relationship. But it almost looks like in the flame that there's two faces getting ready to kiss each other. At least that's the way I see it. So, yeah. Don't self-sacrifice yourself. Don't be too stubborn. To admit that you want this relationship. And just go for it. Okay. Alright. So if you chose. Pile 2. Okay. Let me just move these up a little bit. Alright. So the first card here that we need to relate release is temperance. Temperance is all about balance and harmony and finding that middle ground, right? Finding that uh, perfect medium, duality, having an equal um, yin and yang energy. So if this is something that you need to release, I'm feeling that there is disharmony, there's some sort of imbalance or some sort of clash. Um, so I would definitely suggest practicing moderation this week. Um, and it kind of goes right into what we need to embrace this week, which is the feeling like there's a decision that you have to make and there's two different ways that you can go or some sort of communication, but I'm seeing it really as like an internal struggle, okay? Um, and you're not sure what is the best course for action. So just realize that you need to make that choice. Just make that choice. And the best way that you can support yourself this week, I mean, you have everything that you need at any point, and I've said this before, at any point you can remove. I mean, your hands are free. Right? At any point, you can remove those blinders. You're not really blind to anything. 
you can make the choice. You do have the ability to do that. You're not in a stalemate. Yes, it might feel like it's a crossroads, but, and it is. You just have to make that difficult choice, whatever it is. Um, and the best way that you can support yourself this week is by hmm, maybe getting yourself grounded. Um, I mean, she's all about abundance. And so maybe abundance in, in knowing what you need to do. And maybe this could also be about money. I mean, it is January, for goodness sakes. A lot of people maybe spent too much money over the holidays and or an overabundance in anything, and now they're feeling the, the pains of that. And so I would say maybe get yourself grounded, maybe do some prosperity work. Um... But just remember that you are a powerful, independent, a very loving, nurturing individual. And you know how to manifest whatever it is that you need. You know the answers. So practice a little moderation this week and you should be good to go. And the card this week for your message from the cosmos is the sacred flow of yes. Hmm. So when I think of this, because I'm not going to go through the... Um, oracle book for this i did uh the other day and well yesterday and it's a really long message and i want to keep this short so i'm just going to tell you my thoughts on this is by having gratitude maybe do some gratitude work this week um and by getting yourself grounded you bring balance that imbalance that you're feeling back to you and the sacred flow of yes is just putting it out there that you're not opposed to things so when you accept things the way that they are you bring you know and have gratitude for the situation that you're at and look at the abundance that you have you put yourself into a different um what's a different frequency where you're bringing those things to you the things that that you want to so possibly like i said some prosperity work or getting yourself grounded okay so there we go that was pile number two and pile three okay so, what do we need to release this week? Okay, the Empress is all about creativity and nurturing and, oh, just uh, fertility sometimes and giving birth to new ideas and, you know, so if this is something that we need to release, maybe this week you're feeling either maybe infertile, maybe maybe infertile with a lack of creativity or a lack of confidence or a, maybe you're being a little bit overly emotional or maybe you're feeling out of touch with your uh, intuition or your femininity. So it's just saying release that. And what you need to focus on this week is I see new opportunities. I see new beginnings. This is pentacles. This has to do with uh, prosperity and home life and uh, a manifestation and so maybe start a new project this week um, explore some new paths and opportunities that you have or connections with other people um, maybe get out a little bit more go out into nature if you can this week um, take a nice long walk in nature or um, tend to your plants in your home if you can't get out um, something that has to do with something, you know, like um, earth magic. And again, I'm seeing gratitude. Do some gratitude work. Maybe write up something, you know, in your in your journal or um, just write down a couple of things that you're, you're grateful for. And put it onto a, uh, a, a leaf, a bay leaf, and burn it. Release it. That's what you're grateful for. Um, so how can you best support yourself this week? Well, the King of Swords, he is courageous. 
He is logical. He is intelligent. He can be bold. He's a leader. So be brave. Be courageous. Take on. The best way you can take on, or so, you know, because you're supposed to embrace this week, like I said, those new beginnings, new opportunities, start a new project, start something fresh, maybe have a new perspective. The best way that you can do that is by not being so emotional. Think logically. Plan out something, but be bold. Don't be don't be afraid to take the lead on a new project at work if that's if that's what you're thinking, or to just go for it if it's a new craft that you're thinking about doing or something new that you want to learn how to do, go for it. And the card that we have from the cosmos is change maker, make waves. Right on. This is saying just <laughs> it's something new, right? Don't feel stuck. Don't have that lack of confidence. Um, you know, embrace your creativity. Even if it seems a little out there, go for it. Change makers make waves, okay? Know your power and rock it. So there we go, guys. That was, as I said... Um, the 12th through the 18th for January, and I hope this resonated with you, and I am sending you love and, love and light. I hope you all have a great week. Thank you.